My name is Jinan Shahada. I'm a recent graduate from Georgetown Law. I was offered a job at Foley and Laudner and my employment was terminated actually the day before I was set to start. I was recently called into a meeting with the head partners at Foley and Laudner in which I was literally interrogated on my social media posts related to Palestine, on my involvement with SJP and just other aspects of my identity and background in general. I was even asked like whether I condemn Hamas in the October 7th attacks and they framed my advocacy for Palestine as supporting terrorism. Foley and Laudner is a law firm that prides itself on diversity and inclusion, but I was targeted as one of the only Muslim Arab female associates in the law firm nationwide. And there are other attorneys at the law firm who advocated for Israeli violence and expressed support for Israel, and they were not targeted or fired or even called into a meeting to be interrogated about their comments. So um, obviously the standard was not applied holistically among attorneys. Sorry, when I walked into the meeting, they literally pulled out a packet about 15 to 20 pages about that had screenshots of my social media posts, um, screenshots of my involvement, my quotes, my background, literally everything that involves uh, me and my background and my advocacy for Palestine. They then asked me a series of hostile questions about my support of Palestinian rights. Um, and again, they asked me about like, even my father and my involvement in organizations like SJP Chicago and LSJP at Georgetown Law and asked me to condemn SJP's actions, which as we know, they said, um, they actually said that SJP is um, a terrorist organization. And, but SJP is a student organization with branches all over the country and has a long history of civil and nonviolent discourse. But they were almost pinning me, uh, my involvement in, in SJP to supporting terrorism. What's important to understand is that this incident is not exclusive to me, but is part of a broader pattern of attacks on people who express support for Palestinian rights or share views that are critical of is Israelis' um, human rights violations. From the murder of Wadi al-Fayoumi to the shooting of three Palestinian students in Vermont to the attacks on employees and associates, it's clear that the U.S.'s foreign policy has created a very dangerous atmosphere for Palestinians and those who advocate for Palestinian rights. Zionists have literally, they, they quoted that Zionists have launched this war on associates. So punishing people over their speech or advocacy um, in support of Palestinian rights and attempting to purge them from the law firms, from academia, from Hollywood and media, that's clear McCarthyism. So to be honest, I personally relied on this job financially, and it's a huge blow to my career as an upcoming associates. But I mean it when I say I have no regrets and I will never regret being outspoken for Palestine. Just this morning, Israel resumed its attacks on Gaza, killing 60 more Palestinians. How can I be silent when my silence, our collective silence means life or death for the people in Gaza? This, small this is a small sacrifice compared to what the people in Gaza have endured. But I really wanna point out that all their efforts to silence us, to dox us, to fire us, have been in vain because they cannot silence the millions that have been brave enough to, to speak out for the liberation of Palestine. As lawyers, we are taught that our principal goal is justice and to be advocates for oppressed people everywhere. So therefore, I refuse to be silenced or allow Foley to bully me into silence. So when it comes to where I go from here, I want to push back and make sure that every law firm thinks twice before doing this to another upcoming associate which is why today I'm speaking out and pursuing legal action to set a precedent that we cannot be picked out one by one, that we deserve our, own, our rights as well. The point of the censorship and repression is to make us feel small, to make us feel isolated and instill fear in our hearts to speak out. But we know that the more people who, sp who speak out, the more power and leverage we have as a community. Although our politicians are not standing behind us, we know that there are millions of people across the U.S., that have taken care of us and will stand by us. This is something that I've experienced in the past 24 hours, the outpour of support and love, truly all the devastation, all the fear and anxiety that I felt has been met with an overwhelming majority of support and love. So when it comes to what students should do, I would say that know that we have an army of people at our backs. This suppression and censorship is meant to make us feel small, isolated and defeated. But again, they may be able to silence us if we are one or two or three people, but they cannot silence the thousands and thousands of people who dare to speak in favor for Palestinian rights. So we are not a minority. The support for Palestine has become mainstream, make no mistake, among our people in our generation. 
So speaking out is not only, it is a risk, but it's a risk I'm willing to take for the people of Gaza. I think it's important to understand the time that we are in, and we are seeing one of the worst sieges on Gaza we have seen in history. And make no mistake, there will be another siege on Gaza. And this violence and uh, against the people of Gaza and, and Palestine as a whole will continue until um, the, as long as the occupation continues. So when you ask me what's the point of speaking out, we are truly at a time where we can no longer remain passive about our condition. We need to be more bold, more courageous, more brave, because like I said, it is life or death for the people in Gaza. And I know many of us are afraid. We are exhausted. Many of us cannot afford to lose our jobs. But again, this does not mean that you have to lose your job. The more of us who speak out, truly the more power we have. And there is a way to be strategic in the way you speak out for the people of Palestine.